But I also want to say, I mean, it would be interesting to uh, combine this discussion with these ideas which we, right, which we developed you know, in my class about computer as a metamedium, right? So we can say the computer is not just like a method or a tool, right? It's a machine to generate the methods, tools in the medium, and this kind of meta-generated capacity of a computer somehow seems to be also relevant. Uh, because maybe, maybe you can say with traditional, let's say, methods, uh, like Marxism, or it, it's also kind of maybe meta medium because you could go and develop different types of Marxisms, but you still have to accept certain common things. So maybe computer in some ways, it, it's a new system which is actually more flexible. Yes, you know, everything you do in the computer shares certain things about computation, visual representation, but when you think about the variety, right, of different media computer can support, from a virtual reality to a game to Twitter, right? To, to, back, to like text processor, you know, from point of, from point of view experience, we think we have almost very very little in common, right? So to what extent there is something interesting about this kind of uh, met, met, you know this 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 meta met medium uh, side of computer, and of course what we also discussed the class that computer is not a tool, computer is a medium, and it's not only a medium, it's a meta medium, mm -hmm. right? So when people say we don't use computers as tools, there is also something maybe wrong with this idea. Right, because you can go develop this new media, which perhaps are a few methods, but maybe not. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, okay, thank you. So, yeah, anyone else uh, who wants to? More? Yeah. Yep. All right. Here you are. Hey! <laughs> I, got, I, got, I got email. Oh, cool. I got Eric. I got okay, you. <laughs> so, I mean, just really briefly, kind of to piggyback on what Henry was saying, I think. A tool is materiality of the theory, and the method is the system of, or process, both the system and the process of implementation of the tool. Mm. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, yeah, this is difficult. Yeah. Okay. But, but maybe, okay, but maybe if I'm a social scientist, I would say that, let's say, I have a method, the method would be, for example, uh, you know, getting a sample right from population because I want to study some you know, some kind of patterns right in population. Then the tool will be I don't know using a statistical software right. I personally think method is more general than the tool. Like I, I think of method as okay, this is a, it's a way it's a systematic way to get something done. Okay, so for example, you know I want to you know, I want to go buy a airline ticket right. Okay, so I have to okay, so I have to use some tools which is have to for you know, Orbits, right? Uh, so I personally, I personally think of tools as particular techniques, but you seem to have a walk in to turn it upside down, which is actually very interesting. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> hey, anyway, yeah. we can talk about our questions. No, I, I didn't want. I, I wasn't intended to focus on the question, but it, I mean, it's just relevant because people like, right? You know, there's digital methods group it up so that and people you know often have a discussion with computer tool or video. So it just seems to be very something relevant. Yeah, there is uh, absolutely and I think uh, this is uh, what's gonna occupy uh, uh, us over the next uh, few years I'd say. Uh, rightly so. And um, <clears throat> to uh, also to find um, to embed uh, maybe the quantitative turn uh, to the use of the tools that you develop and others are developing, you know, in a in a meaningful uh, new framework, I think, because you use these tools that you do that what you're doing now. Also, I think, you know, for them to be used later on by by people you don't know now, Absolutely. and also in contexts that you are uh, not yet uh, aware of, I suppose. Yes, of uh, course. Yeah. Well, what, what I would also say is, I mean, you know, there's another sort of idea I've been thinking about in relation to theory, which is, you know, the idea of, let's say, distributed or simply collectively produced knowledge, right? And of course, this is supposedly how, this is how scientific team will work, right? So, and this is how companies work. So, you know, so the reason, the reason I often feel that no artist can compete with, you know, Wikipedia, right, or, or Google, you know, is this is this is mm. systems created by hundreds of hundreds of by, you know, by let's say you know, uh, you know Google is created by thousands of thousands of very smart programmers. Yep. 
with videos created by tens of thousands of contributors. Mm -hmm. And you know, at least in America, you know, there's been lots and lots of discussions about we should we have to really change humanities, we have to get from this idea of a lonely scholar sitting you know, in his or her office, and we have to also start working with students. Which of course you know, in Europe is more accepted because there are always research interviews. But to what extent people actually work with students, I'm also not sure. So what I want to say is that I always thought that you know, maybe an interesting model for theory or for simply scholarly production would be, you know, kind of Wikipedia, where everybody contributes a little bit and somehow these contributions are aggregated. Yeah, yeah we discussed like, uh, Wikipedia yeah. research uh, at length uh, yesterday where, and I presented uh, my, uh, my concepts for a large research project that I'm doing oh. together with uh, people in Bangalore. So that's, uh, that's uh, coming up for next year and um, the, the kind mm -hmm. of tools and methods, uh, disc discussions that we're having uh, now, I would also like to see applied uh, to, the, to the, the Wikipedia context. I think this is, on, this is just, uh, you know, that just has to happen. And and what, what, can, you tell, can you tell me in just in two words what this project is? Uh, no, no, it's more an invitation for, for critical scholars yeah. to get involved because uh, there's a bit of a trouble with uh, Wikipedia research at the moment because uh, it's kind of all done within uh, the Wikimedia fa Foundation itself. Yeah. So the Wikipedia people are doing their own research, which, you know, it's fine, but over time I think... Uh, you know, it, it should uh, should uh, also be taken um, taken beyond that. So uh, well, there are, I mean, there are, there are, I mean, there are, I mean, I think there are some third party projects with this project called Wikipedia, right? Where people take Wikipedia and put it in a structured format. But what I mean by Wikipedia is that you know, I mean, in, in the, as opposed to people writing, right? They're all kind of scholarly articles. I mean, imagine a situation where every kind of graduate student contributes, right? To contribute yeah. to an article yeah. about something. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know, there was this alternative, alternative uh, proposal, right, by Google, which I think never took off. I forgot how it's called, right, but two years ago, Google started this alternative Wikipedia, which allowed, which allowed different people to have kind of parallel articles about the same subject, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. it's, it's interesting. Yeah, yeah but it's That's interesting. Good. That would be a very interesting uh, yeah. proposal. But it, 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 what's really interesting is that it seems like it never really took off, right? You never really hear about it. No. So it's also interesting why it is this idea, because maybe people really like the idea that 